In today's video, we're looking at ratios. So we're going to cover what they are and how we can simplify them. The first thing to say is that a ratio just describes how many of one thing there are compared to another thing. For example, if we take this group of marbles, we can see that there are three blue marbles here on the left and six green marbles here on the right. So if we want to define the ratio of blue marbles to green marbles, which we could write as blue marbles colon green marbles, we'd write three colon six, because we have three blue marbles and six green marbles. Now, one of the most common questions with ratios is being asked how to simplify them. For example, you could be asked how to simplify the ratio 3 to 6. When you simplify, you basically need to make both of the numbers as small as possible. And to do that here, we'd need to think of a factor of both 3 and 6 that we can divide them both by. Which in this case would be 3, because 3 goes into both of them. So we divide 3 by 3 to get 1, and divide 6 by 3 to get 2 which gives a simplified ratio of 1 to 2. And importantly, the ratio 3 to 6 means exactly the same thing as 1 to 2. We haven't changed its value at all. We've only simplified it. And all the ratio really means is that for every one blue marble, there are going to be two green marbles. To see what I mean, if we look back at our original marbles, we can see that for this top blue one, there are these two green marbles. Then for this middle blue one, there are these two green ones. And for the bottom blue marble, there are these two green ones. So for every one blue marble, there are two green marbles. As a second example, let's look at this group and try to find the ratio of red to purple marbles. So here, you can see that we have eight red marbles and six purple marbles. So our ratio of red marbles to purple marbles would be eight to six. And if you wanted to simplify this, which is what you would normally have to do in an exam, you would need to find a common factor of both eight and six that you could divide them both by, which would be two. So you would divide both eight and six by two so that the ratio becomes four to three. Meaning that for every four red marbles, there are three purple marbles. And we can double check that this is true by circling the groups in our example. So we could group these four red marbles with three purple ones, and these four red ones with these other three purple ones. Now we can also find the ratio between other things, like finding the ratio of purple marbles to the total number of marbles, which we can express as purple marbles to total marbles. So for this, all we need to do is find the number of purple marbles, which we know is 6, and then find the total number of marbles, which we can do either by counting up all of the marbles one by one, or adding together 8 and 6, which in either case will give us a total of 14 marbles. This tells us that the ratio of purple marbles to total marbles is 6 to 14 which we can then simplify by dividing both sides by 2 to get a simplified ratio of 3 to 7. Before we finish, one last thing I want to add is that ratios can contain more than two values. For example, if we had this group of marbles, we could find the ratio of green marbles to blue marbles to purple marbles by counting up the number of each, which would just be 2 to 5, to 3. And this time we can't simplify it, because there's no common factor between 2, 5, and 3. So this is the simplest form. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it helpful, then please do tell your friends and teachers about us. And thanks for watching.